Get ready for them. They are coming back. They're not cute. And if you're not a fan of the creepy crawly insects, the temperatures, well, they're all over the place. Up, down, cold, hot. Cicadas are set to emerge by the billions as soon as it gets warm enough. NBC 4's Catherine Ross tells us when and where, just where you're going to find them in central Ohio if you're looking for them. Well, because of the colder temperatures recently, the ground is still too cold for cicadas to come out, but it won't be long before places like Sharon Woods Metro Park here will be the ideal location for those 17 year insects to reemerge. If you were here in 2004, it's hard to forget the buzz. I remember running around Westerville here with my with my friends and like you could there were areas where you could barely have a conversation. Now 17 years later, conversations are once again turning to the red eyed wing bugs known as brood 10. When you came to a park like Sharon Woods where we have an old established forest, then the cicadas were everywhere. I thought it was fascinating. Again, they can't hurt me, so I loved just watching them and seeing what was going on. Jill Snyder from Columbus and Franklin County Metro Parks has been keeping an eye and ear out for the cicadas. At least one was spotted recently at a Metro Park this weekend. Snyder says you'll find them first coming out of small holes at the base of older trees. The key is you have to have trees that have been there for at least 17 years, in some cases longer than that. Swarms of the insects will emerge when ground temperatures are a consistent 64 degrees. They'll stick around for about three weeks. At their worst, Snyder explains they'll be nothing more than a nuisance and actually do some good for the environment. They're great for a food source for wildlife, um, but they also help out. They, they manage to um, aerate that soil. Those little tunnels will help. She says the once in a 17 year phenomenon should be more memorable than scary. Yeah, I mean, people would freak out a little bit, but I, I think it's just part of the Midwestern experience. Now, even after brood 10 dies out, you can still expect to see those annual cicadas that you're probably familiar with. Those will be out closer to the end of summer near August. Local Free in Westerville, Catherine Ross, NBC4.